So it was just announced a couple of days ago that HBO is adapting this popular video game series into a TV series. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, it's an action-adventure survivor horror game. So it's four genres all mashed together from Naughty Dog about humans that are transformed into vicious cannibalistic creatures called the Infected. And I'm not much of a gamer, but I think both of you are, Alon, Vince. Yeah, for sure. So let me know if I missed anything important here in the in the premise. But basically, in this post-apocalyptic world, we focus on a man named Joel escorting a younger female character named Ellie across the United States. And he sort of becomes a father figure for her, right? Yeah, that's after his own daughter passed away. That's right. So it's even more emotional for him. And that's one of the big things with this game. It's not just a great game, but the story is is fantastic, right? right? I mean, you can watch the cutscenes for this game, and it's the caliber of an HBO series. Yeah, and the voice I would say acting. So. What I would say so for sure. Yeah, the voice acting in the in the game is spot on. And if you like the writing in the game, the good news is that they're actually bringing the writer and co-director from the game, Neil Druckmann to co-produce and co-write the series with Craig Mazin. Now, did either of you watch the HBO limited series Chernobyl? No. No, but I did want to check it out. Yeah, same here. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't seen the series, but I've heard nothing but great things. I heard that after Game of Thrones, that was uh, satisfying to have something good afterward. (laughs) That was, don't worry, HBO still can make good content. (laughs) And also, from what I understand, Chernobyl is an incredibly bleak and dark show, which fits The Last of Us, right? Fits the tone of that game. So you've got a great writer. You've got the writer from the original video game. So I think it's shaping up to be a pretty awesome adaptation. Uh, So it's going to cover the events of the original game. Plus, there is the potential for additional content from The Last of Us 2, the sequel, which is finally coming out this May. Now, are you guys excited for this adaptation? No doubt for me. I I, I can't wait. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you're bringing my hopes up with these uh, talented individuals. Yeah. Normally, we hear something get announced, and the first thing we do is we check out who's writing it, who's directing it, who's making it, and a lot of times we're disappointed. But sometimes it feels like the network or the production company just decides, you know what? Let's make this good. Let's get a great Uh writer. Let's get the person who made the original series to come on and make an awesome show. Now, any particular things you want to see out of this show? Any, uh, I mean, I I haven't played the game, so I don't know if there's certain things where you say, oh, that's got to be in the show for this to be a faithful adaptation and be a great show. Hmm. Uh I can't really think of anything specific, but what I one thing I do think is would be cool. So Last of Us Part One, Ellie's a little kid. Part two, we come back and she's much older. So I would be interested in seeing this kind of time lapse or time jump in the show as well. Like I'd like to see it take place over a long period of time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If we're lucky, I hope they you know come out to multiple seasons. You know. Yeah. Um. You know, if it catches on well. Yeah. It's um, the, the the when did the first game come out? I think it was almost ten years ago, right? Yeah, at five to ten years at least, at least five. Yeah. Any preferences on who they cast in this show? Dream casting for Joel or yeah. Ellie? Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna say Ellen Page for <laughs> for Ellie. <laughs> yeah. So, so if you're unfamiliar to... in the in the original game. <laughs> The character Ellie looks suspiciously like Ellen Page. And she was actually unhappy about that, right? She was like, I didn't really give them permission to do that, so it's not very cool. Yeah. And she was there there was another game at the same time, or around the same time, mm-hmm. that was based on her appearance and she yeah. voiced the character. Yeah, and she did the motion capture and everything. Right. Yeah. Kind of a competing title around the same time. Yeah. So not Ellen Page, and she's probably also aged out of the role at this point. I would say for Joel, I don't know why this was the first actor that popped into my head, but um, what's the name of the guy from Dread? Carl Urban. Oh. He's in Dread. Have you seen The Boys on Amazon? Yes. Yeah, I feel. I don't know why. I feel like he would fit the Joel character. 
I think he could. Yeah. It's a good choice. All right. They should bring me onto this show. Neil <laughs> Druckmann, Craig Mason, and Gil from One Take. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. Do you want this to be a straight adaptation where they follow the events of the game closely, or would you rather see them stray? I would rather see them stray because the game was already done so well. Let it be its own universe. We could have something a little different. Or maybe it can be the same, but they're focusing on different parts we didn't see in the game. Or maybe like Walking Dead where... I mean, this would be the only similarity I'd want between this show and Walking Dead, <laughs> but where it follows it pretty faithfully, but strays here and there, so it appeals to people that haven't played the game, yeah. and it appeals to people who have played it, where there's still some surprises in store for them. Well, I, I certainly, I don't want them to change any of like the core parts of the story, but there, you know, there's things here and there in the game that I don't necessarily need to see replicated exactly the same in the show, right? Where like when you die and then you redo the level <laughs> over and over. Yeah. We, every time he heals, we don't need to see him wrapping his arm with the whatever it's called, the wrap bandage. Whatever. Bandage, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I I know all too well because right before we recorded this, I stubbed my pinky toe, <laughs> <laughs> so it's bandaged up pretty good. Right Sorry now. about that. <laughs> yeah, it's because I was getting orange juice for Vince. So, <laughs> all right. Well, any final thoughts on The Last of Us? Oh, by the way, they were for years talking about turning this into a movie. And at one point, Macy Williams played Arya Stark in Game of Thrones, was supposed to portray Ellie. But I think she also has probably aged out of the role at this point. Mm -hmm. Because in the first game, Ellie was, I think, 14 years old. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So do you think a TV series is a better fit than a movie would have been? I mean, how, how large in scope is the game? I think it needs a series. I don't think you could tell the whole story in a in a movie. Yeah. To be honest. And I think you can dive in deeper on these characters. Right. And yeah. Especially on the different types of zombies or, you know, dead creatures. Creatures, whatever you want to call the them. The infected. The infected, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think Vince brought up something that I would was going to say, which is this in this game, you know, it's not that original in terms of, oh, there's an infection, people are zombies. It really is about the character development. Right. So I I don't feel like you can necessarily fit all that in one movie. I, I mean, and even if you can, I'd rather see it spread out over time yeah. in a series. Like one thing was the beginning of that game was so like intense and like, I don't know. You, you just felt for the characters. You felt for Ellie being alone and trying to f find her way out of the house and ends up with you Joel. Know, with Joel. Yeah. I haven't seen much of the game, but what struck me about the game was the fact that when I saw the cutscenes, they were shockingly emotional and well done for a video game. I mean, from the writing to the acting. So it seems like this is a game which is ripe for an adaptation. And uh, I know people keep asking, have we broken the video game curse yet? Because every movie adaptation of a video game has been terrible. Sonic. Up until Detective <laughs> Pikachu got pretty good reviews, and Sonic is getting pretty good reviews. <laughs> well, is Detective Pikachu really a video game movie? They He's not just Pikachu. Well, he's detective. I think in Japan he was a detective in one of the video games. <laughs> okay, so technically, <laughs> so it, it is, is a video, video game, game movie then. <laughs> yeah, and I, also I would say even though Castlevania is not a movie, it's a TV show. But the line is so blurred these days, and that show is excellent. Yeah. So I think the curse is broken. And I think this Last of Us series is set up for success, and this is going to take that broken curse and completely obliterate it. I hope so. So it's over. <laughs> now we can make room for other video game adaptations. So Naughty Dog made Last of Us. Didn't they also make Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. I want to see that. And they did Uncharted, right? Yeah, Uncharted would be great. Oh, Coming yeah, out with that, that movie. Sounds, well, that one's not. I yeah, don't know. we're, we're I not know. having good feelings about this one. Yeah, so that's uh, coming from Ruben Fleischer, who created Zombieland. Great. I love Zombieland, but he also made Venom and a few other things that weren't great. It's also being written by, I forget their names, but they were writers on Men in Black International. And yeah, I'm not feeling great about Uncharted. Yeah. So anyway, any final thoughts on Last of Us? The last word on Last of Us. Well... I love the game. I'm. I have high hopes for the second one. And if there's uh that person involved in the game is also going to be involved in the movie. Neil Druckmann. Neil Druckmann. Right. I 
I've got I've got hope for this one. I just can't wait. You know. All right. That's the first time on any episode of One Take <laughs> where I've seen a glimmer of hope in Alun's eyes. So that's great. 